first at 5:30, a warning for those spending time in the waters of Long Island Sound. Health experts are cautioning people about swimming if you have any open wounds. Plus, bacteria in the salt water can contaminate the shellfish, leading to some pretty nasty infections. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live right now along the Sound with more details for us tonight. Matt. Uh, hi there, Mark and Aaron. Well, the State Department of Public Health uh, stresses that these types of infections extremely rare. In fact, the last two summers here in Connecticut, they didn't have a single case. But this summer so far, three people have been hospitalized and sadly one person died. A picturesque summer day on Long Island Sound, and Janet Bear says she finds herself here at least a few days a week. It's just refreshing to be outside. I, it's very peaceful. For many, the water is pretty inviting. I'll swim in any kind of water. But if you have an open wound, a cut, a new piercing, or tattoo, the Connecticut Department of Public Health is warning folks about limiting your exposure to the salt water in the sound. If they say don't go in, you know, because of bacteria, I go by that. Yes. I trust their judgment. And the warning also extends to consuming raw oysters. That's because in the hot summer months, this Vibrio bacteria is more likely to overgrow and contaminate the shellfish. As the waters are warming, we're seeing it not only uh, more commonly, but also earlier during the year. Dr. Richard Martinello is an infectious disease specialist with Yale New Haven Hospital. If they get water into a wound, or if they, they step on a shell or otherwise cut their foot while they're down at the beach, that water exposure could then lead to a, a skin infection. In the last month, the state says it's seen three reported cases, with the patients being between 60 and 80 years old. One patient reported eating raw oysters at an out-of-state establishment. Two reported exposure to salt water in Long Island Sound or brackish water, which is where the salt water mixes with fresh water of a river. We're told both patients had pre-existing cuts or wounds leading to the infection. Try to avoid exposure to that, that ocean water or brackish water. If you're going to be down at the beach, make sure you cover that wound so you don't get water into it. You have to follow the rules. It's foolish not to. Why would you let yourself get sick? You wouldn't go out and say, I'm going to get measles, so why would you do this? And for more information on this bacteria and these types of infections, we've got a link on the Channel 3 app. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.